So today, they have added the new Rustic Helvetia Camp Kit. They've added the Spoiled Apple Tree, the Turkey Buzzard, and the Heavy Weapon Stand. Now the reason these three items in the Atomic Shop have not been added to any bundles or aren't being sold as a bundle is because they know people will pay the extra 700, 500, and 500 atoms respectfully. So you're talking about 1,700 atoms for something. Or you can buy the Appalachian bundle, which comes with this building set, this porch kit, which I'll bet you almost anything that anything you put on this is going to bounce up to the top of the roof. Um, the black powder skin, which I think I'm the only person that likes black powder rifles in the game. Um, the side table or chest and the dresser i mean it's a nice dresser it's a nice chest i don't think they've even given us the bed yet which is another thing that kind of irritates me that they showed in that picture but they have a as you can see a lot of stuff is back the makeshift mega mansion um i recommend if you're going to buy that there's a thing that comes out it's called i think it's called the skyscrapers bundle where it's all the larger buildings that they have of the prefabs. If you're going to buy prefabs, I recommend buying those. Unless there's something in particular that you want with this that it's paired with. Um, and of course, they have these scale screen paint, which is one that was off of the um, scoreboard in the past that has been making a return. Because so... The way the scoreboard items are working out so far is that most of the older ones are either showing up back in the Atomic Shop as items you can buy or in the Gold Bullion store or stamp store in the game. If you buy them in the Atomic Shop, they are locked to your character. They are locked to your account. If you buy them in the Gold Bullion store or the stamp store in the game, they are locked to that individual uh, character, just so you know. I'm going to go in with Harley so I can show you a couple things. Uh, I'm just going to adventure and see how that turns out. But, uh, yeah, I'm just knocking around making another video. I was going to make a uh, Dumpster Fires of the Commonwealth video but I decided to do this uh, dumpster fires of the atomic shop video quick because I could do it and show you what I mean okay so here we are on top of Seneca Rock that's where this camp is. I, I get the purple color kind of throws it off a little bit, but that's not because of me. That's because the weather that they have. It seems like every time clouds pass through this area, I wind up getting some weird purple color. There are literally a ton of these um, different porch kits, right? This is the one that we just got. Sorry for the wankiness of the build. This is not a done camp. This is one that I'm just testing stuff out with. If it'll place. Alright. So you have the Rustic Kit, and then you have the Helvetia Porch Kit, which is the one that I'm putting right beside of it. I recommend the Broken Kit. It is my favorite. It is right down there. I use it the most often. Or possibly the greenhouse porch kit. Although the haunted house porch kit does have its charms. Because it does have ivy already growing up into it. And I will place it right over here so you can see what I'm talking about. For those of you that don't have it. But yeah, let's start off with that. See, these are the ivy that I was talking about. They grow along the uh, haunted house porch kit. It's one of those things that just looks nice for most builds if you're building in the forest region in particularly um, I like the 
one that I'm standing on, which is the broken one, because of the fact that it is broken, and it seems to match the world space a little better. This is the Helvetia porch kit, not the rustic one, and it's red, as you can see, and it actually matches out really well if you use the barn tiles with it. And I can show you that real quick. Which are just a standard game item, if you happen to have those. It might be easier to just... There we go. Well, let's just put it there. See what I mean? The red and white matches out really well around the doors. Um, the windows on the barn set are kind of crap, but uh, the door set by itself is actually fairly nice. And the plain wall is a nice solid red color. This came with its own set. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you is if you place, in certain of these things, if you place floor decor down, and we'll go with this egg. It's easy to follow. Place it there. And we've got an egg. Okay? Now, let's see if we place it over here. It sometimes takes them a while to get that fixed. Nope. we got an egg. Another egg. Another egg. And... An egg. And an egg. Good. So it looks like they finally went back through and fixed it. What was happening is anything you would place on these porches would rebound up to the top of the porch. So you'd place it down here, and it would magically be up here on top. Um, I'm guessing somebody went back through and fixed all the nav meshing so the current set doesn't have that issue. And I guess in fixing the one, they fixed them all, which is not a bad thing. But just so you know, if you have that issue, the way to get around it is to place the item that you want to place on these porches on a rug. Like a little, uh... Yeah, come on. Like literally one of these rugs if you want to. Although I recommend using these small gray mats. They tend to blend into flooring pretty bad, pretty much. And what will happen is you can set like a, it still might bounce some things. So I'm going to try this one more time. I'm going to try it with a different type of object and see, because that's a floor decor item. This is a stash box. Stash boxes, they're all placing apparently. Okay. Well, that's one thing that's been fixed. Glad I can show you that. Glad that it works the way it's supposed to. Wanted to make sure it worked that way and wanted to make sure you guys saw it if it didn't before you bought it. I tend to buy all the build sets because I like the variety of tiles that I have to use and uh, all that stuff in game. But uh, I don't always, the thing that I don't always buy in the um, Atomic Shop are some of the individual items like these trees and this kind of stuff. I, don't, I, just, I just don't do it. Most of the stuff I buy is in a bundle because I want to try and get as much out of it as I can. Um, if you're wondering, if you don't have any of these, these armory paints, the paint kits that they have that come out periodically, I recommend picking up at least the paint for the weapon that you use the most often because that way it will not show up on the uh, breakdown thing whenever you go to dispose of your legendary items if you put it on a paint on a gun that you're using it'll be less likely for you to get rid of it by accident um, that being said uh, if you like these videos and you have any questions or you need anything uh, in particular or you want to join the contest um, that is the uh, build contest that is running through the end of June on my YouTube channel. You can do that through the Discord, which there'll be a link in the video. Um, you can contact me through YouTube, commenting on videos, or you can contact me through Discord. Either way works. I'm cool with both. Um, if you have a question, or if you just want to recommend an idea for a video, or if you even if you just want to 
get me to come take a look at your camp. If you're on PC, it's not a problem. If you're on PlayStation, I should be able to do it, but I can't guarantee it. Because my PlayStation is as finicky as a cat. Um, but uh, Xbox, I'm sorry. I just I can't do it. If it was cross-platform, it would be an awesome game, but it's not. I'm hoping at some point they will at least enlarge the amount of players we can have on a game board at the same time, because like, I think right now it's 24. But, uh, yeah. I don't see that happening anytime soon either. But, yeah, this is Seneca Rock, by the way, if you're wondering. We are right on the top of the, I guess it would be the northern face. It faces the Brotherhood of Steel's base over here. And you can literally walk up it if you are careful. Um, I recommend using power armor if you're going to do it because you can fall pretty easily. If you have a jetpack, that'll help you out even more. Um, if you want to get up on the other face, on the other side, you're definitely going to need a jetpack. Um, or you're going to want to set your camp up here, build across as far as you can and then reset your camp on that side always an option if you really want to go that route but uh yeah so this right here is called z fighting it normally doesn't happen if you have the right uh pieces in the right places so to speak um it's basically the textures overlaying where they're so tight together that they uh you can't decide which one to show all the time, so it shows them both periodically. Just so you know. That happens a lot whenever you're playing around with making round builds or octagonal builds, you know, because you're moving floors in ways that they weren't originally designed to. So I recommend using a pattern that you can tolerate that doesn't do that that much. Or placing rugs over top of them. Rugs are the savior in this case. But, uh, anyway, have a nice day. Hope you're having fun playing. Uh, the update should happen sometime after the 9th. The weekend of the 9th is when they're doing the, uh, Xbox, uh, live event conference that used to be E3. It should get announced at that event when they're coming out exactly. I think, in all likelihood, it will be the 11th. But there are some people that are saying that the update will not come till the 24th. So that's why I have between the 11th and 24th is just as likely as anything else. So anyway, finish up the scoreboard as fast as you can. Or I guess not really a scoreboard anymore. It's just a, what's it called? A season. Yeah, finish up the season as fast as you can if you haven't got everything off of it that you want. Make sure you get that done, because as soon as they change over, they'll change over the season as well. It'll be a whole new ball game, And none of the tickets that you have collected from the season will carry over to the next. Oh, and sorry about the uh, uh, HUD display, but in all honesty, I probably should re-record re this. Alright, let's start it. No, I'm not going to start over. I'm just going to tell you that uh, accidents happen. <laughs> Have a good day.